Hey, what's going on guys? Apple Pie here, and today it's a little bit of a different setup here. I got two of my drones here, and a frame, and some screwdrivers, and a little bit of tweezers. So what I'm going to be doing today in this video is I'm going to be upgrading this quad right here. It's a Blade Nano QX, but it's in a Reagan Heli frame. And I'm going to be putting it in a different frame. Uh, this one is the Micro Heli Aluminum Carbon Fiber frame for a helicopter. And the difference is... Here, I'll show you when I get it out of the bag. Um, there's a manual right here. It tells you what to do. It focuses. And then you got top plate for the quad. That, that holds it together. You got some motor mounts and screws. You got some battery screws. They're all screws are all in the things right now. And then, last but not least, you got the carbon plate, the carbon base plate. So let's move my tiny whoop out of the way. If you want some videos on this, folk, there. It's all modded. You got a different camera on the front. And you got different motors. You got. I'm gonna put a different frame on here. So if you want a video on that, get this to five or six likes. So the difference between this Rake and Heli frame and this other frame is that this one is all carbon. All carbon so when you crash you're not gonna bend these ARMs like you do on here because on here they're all aluminum. I don't really know if you can tell but the ARMs are blue. Well focus on me. So now let's get started. So first so let's take all the parts out of the bag. Okay guys and we are back again. So now I kind of like zoomed in and Sorry for like the shadows on my hand. I need to get like a light to go kind of like right here. I don't have one of those yet. Yeah, I need to get one. So let's just kind of get started. So if you guys didn't see the first, uh, let's kind of just scoot some of this stuff aside. And right here and here. So this is the new frame I'm going to put on it. And see the, the carbon struts right here, 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 and here. Here, 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 and here. And then these one, this one has aluminum struts here, 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 here. So this one, if you hit something, boom, then, you know, it'll be fine. And so with that, these ones have bent. See, as you guys can see, this one right here is different colors to the motor. So this one's a different color because I, I bent it and I had to use my brothers. So, so if you guys are wondering why I haven't been here in a long time, because I make it cut and short and sweet. It was Christmas break and I wanted to play video games with my friends. And yeah, and I, I know I can make video game videos for you guys. I wanted to more than I wanted to record. So I don't know how I'm going to get this camera off because I hot glued it on. But let's look at the instructions first. Okay, so the instructions say right here. Um, kind of but you guys be able to see it. I want you to put the screws in the bottom of it for the battery tray. I got a light from my brother's room and now we are better back in this. So yeah, as the instructions say right here, trying to zoom in for you guys. You gotta put the battery compartment screws, things right here and here. The screws and then now right here you gotta put the little posts for this piece right here so zoom you guys back out and now let's get started with that we'll put the nano aside and now we'll get going with this I don't think it really matters where you put those. So put one screw in there like that. And so I am not very good at doing this. I got these two screws in. Back you guys up. And I apologize if I get in the way. It's because I'm trying to see these tiny things too. I am trying not to obstruct your view. But I seriously do apologize. I'll get better at these as I do them. I will post drone content a lot more as I get better at learning how to record all that for you guys. Now that we got that part done, see what step two says. Well, the first, the, the second step is step one. So right now, it says that we need to put these four posts in. So these posts, little standoffs. Now you focus on my hand, but not the object inside my hand. So that's the little standoff right there. It 
will strengthen it. So you can put the brain right in here. So now let's do that. I'm gonna do one at a time. Okay guys, I am back! And before we get into this, I'll show you all these, but I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Um, I've been waiting so long to do all of these. I'm gonna bring you more of our vlogs. Um, I am currently recording on a Canon T6i, so I'll four standoffs. You guys can kind of see them better now. But this will help you put the board from this guy into it and so now we'll put you got these little motor mounts put the motor in here and then this is a little stand so it, when you kind of put it on the ground then the whole frame will stay up a little bit instead of sitting right on the battery yeah you don't yeah you don't want it standing on the battery do you it'll kind of bend the battery tray <clears throat> and so I like how the screws come already in there. You just gotta unscrew these screws in here. Zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Let's get this frame out of here. Yeah, I have no magnetic mat, but at least the table's blue. So I can kind of see them better than you guys might. So you kind of. Oh, that's nice. The sh you can see it. Eventually I'll get better at this. Right now I just have a touch screen LCD so I use that to help me focus a lot. What you guys should do is if you guys have Loctite or know what Loctite is you guys should really get that and use it with this because what Loctite does is when you're screwing a screw into metal it's metal on metal not, pl not metal on plastic and so that'll help it kind of stay and it'll help it not come out with the vibrations because with a helicopter I've lost several screws on this helicopter I don't know let's see if we can find one that's popped out yeah there's some on the bottom here I'll put it right here Zoom in. Right here, there sh uh, right here, there should be two screws. Right here and here. But those are gone because of the vibrations. So yeah, that kind of stinks. Let's put this quad out of the way. And so let's kind of screw it on. Don't tighten it too tight because then you'll strip the screw. So now we're on to the next one. You just basically insert the screw and you tighten it, but don't tighten it too tight as I said because you you run the risk of stripping your screws. See there you go. Come on, you're gonna focus or not? Pretty good autofocus, but it's not very good when you're trying to hit close ups. There, so you kind of see the little standoff right there on the frame. The frame is paper thin. You'll snap this before you bend it. You'll probably bend the motor cans and see how it kind of sits there when you put all four on there kind of be like that. So I'll come back when I got all four on.
Hey, now I am back again. Some of these motor mounts are kind of like squabbling around. I'm gonna move them out about. It's kind of like one of those collapsing quads, like the DJ Mavic. Screw the top screw, and it'll kind of deep back in. That's kind of cool. But that's not what we're here for. So lift up the carbon plate, and there you see all the insides. Yeah, I still need to kind of get this off, but what I did up front, I kind of scratched it all about to get that off. You want to get the motors out, pop them up. I'll zoom in for you guys. Kind of just pop them up. That with a screwdriver. That again. Like that again. Yeah, do you gotta be the stubborn one? Oh, everybody, you gotta be the stubborn one. Okay, there we go. And then you, and there's a screw right here that you gotta. Okay, guys, I am back and I have awesome news. Let me just scoot this thing back and put this all out of the way. The screws are right here, so I'm not gonna move those. I have. I mean, I've had these. I got them for Christmas, but. These are the Ishin E1010 or E010 frames for the tiny loop. And I got them in yesterday. I got four. I put one on my brother's quad. And here's my tiny loop right here. So I'm going to put that on next video. So I just kind of put them on there. Same exact frame. Uh, my computer wants something. Okay. Uh, put this over here. These motors from Bulk. Clash just came in. 20 motors from eBay. Oh, this is awesome. There's five sets of 18,000 kV motors. These things are insanely fast. Comes with little extra plugs right here. So that's my next video. Installing these motors. Oh, you can smell that new motor smell, boy. Sticking those in here, maybe in here. I don't know. I've been racing this the inductrix, so tell me in the comments if you want me to vlog one of my races. I <clears throat> I will happily do that. Um, let's get back on track with this video. They literally just came in. I went out to the mailbox. They're so cold. Made in China. Thanks. You're an American company, but you make stuff in China. Hopefully that's what Trump will fix, even though I'm not a Trump supporter. It tells you, see look there, 18,000 KV. Yes. 12%, 6,000 RPM and no load, that's, that's pretty fast. Okay, so getting back to this, I'll put the screws in the bag. So it's like two hours later. I made, I had lunch, uh, dinner, I mean. So now we're gonna loosen the screws on here. And we're gonna pull the motor out. Hopefully trying not to break anything. Uh, yes, let's use these handy dandy pliers to kind of take the motor right out. There we go. Yeah, now all the motors are put in the frame. It looks pretty nice now. It looks a lot nicer than it did. This kid looks like a transformer now. He looks like a person. I am a helicopter and I don't exist anymore. So yeah, let's get this part. Let's get this frame out of the way. So this frame, there's not much left of it. There's just a board and a couple A arms. Or not A arms. There are a couple struts. That's it, really. So this board, as you guys can see, is the Nano FPV board. I'll zoom in on it. It's a standard board, except for it's got a pigtail lead that comes off of it for the camera. Here's the camera lead. 
the camera that comes with it is not very good, but, I mean, if you're on a budget, then it's pretty good, I guess. So now let's just, you kind of just pull the board right off, and, and you can pretty much do whatever you want with this piece. So let's put that aside, and then this board, pretty much just get this thing back in here, and, oh, that's around. So the board just kind of sits in there like that, and if you flip it around, all the motor wires come out there. There's a motor wire in the way. Everything comes out right around there. So I'll just zoom in for you guys so you guys can kind of see a little bit what's going on. There's the battery tray right there. and Now yeah, let's look at the next step. So this is the third and last step. You gotta assemble the motors, put the everything those out of tape, and then you gotta put the screws in the top. Okay, that's nice to know instruction booklet. Now let's put this part away with that. Grab yourself some double sided tape. I need some schizors. Yeah, that's my chair squeaking. Grab yourself some schizors so that you can cut some of this stuff. Okay, now I need to put the screws away. Sorry if I bumped you guys. You gotta tidy up your screws so that you don't lose them. That would not be very nice. I just got a little baggie that came with it, stuck all my screws in there. Okay, so you got your motor, you got your frame, you got everything's a mess, in a mess. So, let's, let's get the board. You need to prepare the board. Let's get the screwdriver out of the way. So there's the board in the middle. And you need to get yourself some double-sided sticky tape. And you want to cut enough to go in between the motor prongs. So probably that much. Um, seems like a little bit too much, so cut off a little bit of an excess. And then that seems to fit in there pretty well. So, I'm back you guys up a little bit. So you just kind of squeeze it down. Don't squeeze it too hard or else you'll break it. You break the board. So then, what I, what you got to do is you got to kind of... You got to kind of stick the flathead screwdriver in here. Then you can kind of pull the tape off with a pair of tweezers. There, and then you got sticky tape on it. And then with the tape, with the rest of it, kind of like to st straighten it out. And then take your scissors and kind of cut the excess off, because you don't, you don't need that excess on there. So, now... Let's get back to our frame, and you guys can kind of position it however you guys want, and then you kind of, I want to make it a little straight, that's about straight, you just kind of press it down, that's all you got to do is press it, make sure it's sort of in the middle. Wiggle it around. There, now your board is in place. Okay, that seems good enough. Now let's throw away the excess tape. There, that's gone. Now, we're going to wire up the motors. So, 
what I would do is kind of just wrap it around here a little bit. And then you can... What I would do is you kind of just push it in the battery bay right here. I'll zoom you guys in. So as you guys saw, I stuck it in the battery bay. And then you just got to wire up your motor. So that your motor will turn on. Okay, so I'll be back when I wire up all the motors. Okay, guys. So, as you guys can see, I stuck all the motors in there and it's all wired up now. So, what you guys kind of have to be mindful of the red and blue and the black and white because those are the rotations of the motors so uh, you guys want to be careful because um, this is facing you guys now so when you guys are watch uh, yeah when you guys are watching this this one right here is spinning counterclockwise because it'll spin this way and it's against the clock. So this one's also counterclockwise. This one is clockwise. Uh, this one is clockwise. Like that. It spins like that. If you guys noticed from the board, they spin out. On all your mini quads, they spin in. These ones spin out. So if they're not spinning out, then you know you've done something wrong. That's what. That's what I know. So that's what I figured out too. So. Next step, we want to stick our camera on here like that. And then we want to mount it and plug it in. So first, what we want to do is want to plug it in so that we don't forget that step. I forgot it in the last frame. I was pretty mad. But, I mean, oh well. I forgot it, so then I had to stick it in there. So, the... So the camera has to go on there kind of like that. Um, but I'll just have it on there wired up. And I mean, next that we have to do is we got to unscrew these four top screws on the standoffs. And then we got to put our last piece of carbon on there. It's going to go in there like that. So you can stick your camera on the front of it. I mean, hopefully you don't get any... No, you're not going to get anything. Okay. I was wondering if you were going to get any chopping on the front in the view. But you're not going to get that. Okay, guys. So I am back. Now, what I did was I had installed the, f the top carbon plate... And you guys can see if it'll focus. There you guys go. And now I need to stick this camera on the front of it. Kind of like that. But I need to wire the camera in, so... What I am going to do is, so I need to wire the camera in, so I'm just going to feed the wire through. Oh, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it through the other one. That's fine. So now we're just going to plug that wire in. There, now it's all wired up. And so now, we need double-sided tape. So what I was thinking is just take the board tape from the other board, uh, from the other frame. So let me just pull that up. Nah, I can't pull that up.
So now I just need to measure it. There. So you gotta put the tape on the camera like that. And it's gonna be a little bit harder. But while all that is still on it, we are gonna get the t covering off of it. And we're gonna try not to take it off the bottom of the camera. And it decided that it wanted to come off again. Oh god. It's not coming out well. I gotta trim it again. Don't want to stick to my finger. Okay. Now we got the piece of tape. Okay. And let's stick it to the bottom of the camera this time. Okay, now that it's on the bottom of the camera, we're going to stick it on the actual frame. So, oh dang it. There. That'll do. Um, that probably was not the best quality. And we'll have to do. So there we go. That is essentially how you put the micro heli frame on a Blade QX or Blade Nano QX F PV. So if you guys have enjoyed again Please like, like, comment, and subscribe to my channels for more of this type of content. Hope you guys have enjoyed again. Apple Pie, signing off. Stay tuned for my Tiny Whoop video. And my quads, thank you. My quad person thanks you also. Peace out.